What if I tell you that if you're a school student or a college student, you can pay your own fees. That too by just working for one hour to four hours every single day. This is the first video of the two part series which will be the ultimate guide for every student in India to make money online. Because I've spent my last five years just researching about this. Spent hours and hours talking to different students who have done it themselves. And I myself had started earning shit amount of money right after I entered college. Not just through YouTube, but through internships, content writing, freelancing and tutoring. So when I'm saying that you can... You can. I pull up you deep on my niggas, consider it's pivotal. Trap through the app, make a clap it, don't cap it, she tapping it fast. Hello everyone, welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Tarun and I've recently graduated from IIT Kharagpur. And during the course of research for this video series, I've shortlisted a total of 10 different ways that students can use to make money online. And in this video, the first part, we are going to talk about five of them, along with how much money you can make through them, how long do you have to work every single week, how do you get started with these things, the complete roadmap to get started, and most importantly, some of the most beautiful tips by students who have done it themselves. The first thing in this list is an amazing one which can get you something around 50,000 to 2 lakhs a month even if you just consider it like a part-time gig but can provide you something around 5 lakh to 10 lakh if you get serious with it and that is web development, web development, web designers, web designers, full stack web development. See there are two things that you can do with this. The first one is more on a lighter side where you don't know how to code where you don't even know what is H and HTML, where you entirely depend upon website builders like WordPress, Wix, Wix Studio, Webflow, or use simple AI-driven tools like Framer, Durable, UI Zarden, or ReadyMap to make websites for creators and micro-level startups. Most of these websites would be simple landing pages, product demo websites, or simple e-commerce websites, which you can easily make in like two to five days of time, but can charge something around 15,000 to 75,000 each. And this will take you just one to two weeks of time to learn the skill. And here's the exact roadmap on how to get started and how to get clients for yourself. Take a screenshot of this. Now the next part of web development is more on a serious side. The one who knows how to properly code and deploy websites end to end and own the products of the startups completely. See, this will take you a lot of time to just get started, something around at least six to eight months, but this has a lot of money in it. And it's comparatively much more easier to build a career around this. And this is what Harkirat, one of the best coders that I know said, when I asked him about this. All right, so the question is, is freelance web development a good option for students in India? The TLDR is yes, but there are a few caveats to keep in mind. Number one, web development is maybe a subset of what companies want. What companies want, especially if they're hiring people freelance, is for you to own the product end to end, which means you don't need to understand just how to build a website. You need to understand how to build the backend for it. You need to understand how to connect them. You need to understand how to deploy them on the internet, on AWS, GCP, and own the product end to end. If this sounds interesting, then yes, web development is a good freelance option. How much money can you make here? It starts around 30k US dollars. It can go up to a lot of money, but don't focus on money too much early. Focus on becoming a one person IT team. If you're good at that, you can find good opportunities from India working as a freelance remote software developer. And rest apart, this will also get you a great placement offer. If you'd like to sit for placements in your final year of college, or sometimes even without a college degree. And this is the exact roadmap and how do you get started with this? Take a screenshot right now and let's move forward. Now the next big thing which will still be big for the next four to five years is... Hey, my name is Bob Dur and I'm 17 years old. My name is Samit. I'm Shivam. I started freelancing and editing videos when I was 15. I charge around six to eight K per video right now on an average. I can edit a video in three to five days in the night along with managing my school in the daytime. So I started video editing back in February. Within three months, I got a full-time placement opportunity at an academy. So it's quite easy to get started with video editing. I'm um, editing video for the past two years and one day randomly I sent a mail to Tarun. He liked my portfolio and that's how I'm here working with him. And before we get into the roadmap to learn this, I have to say that video editing is one of the most useful skills to have if you're in the current generation. Some people also say with the explosion of the internet, video editing is in our lives more than we realize. And with YouTuber or filmmaker being the top job kids want today, the demand for editors will only escalate. Editing now is like what coding was during the dot-com era. And just like everyone needed a website, soon everyone will need an editor. This will take you one week to get started, four months to master, and you can earn something around 30,000 to 1.2 lakhs if you know how to edit videos well. You can either get started with Adobe Premiere Pro or you can also start with DaVinci Resolve which is available for free for every single person. And learning the software will just take you one week. But it will take a lot of time to improve your storytelling skills to call yourself a pro editor. And the entire roadmap to learn a skill, make a portfolio, get clients and build an agency around it is 
my own course itself which is currently sold out we are relaunching the next cohort in like 10 to 14 days of time so just wait for it see the fifth one out of the five ways would be the most craziest way which even i am planning to start this week but before that here's the third one which most of the students including you sitting on your bed sofa or chair would be able to start right now my name is nitin and I have intent recently to start a as a content writer for two months and I have earned. Content writing is backbone of so many things. And if you can write good stories, good copies or good scripts, you can actually do a lot of things. For example, you can be a ghostwriter of books for creators, CEOs or other famous people. You can be a ghostwriter for creators on LinkedIn. You can be a scriptwriter for creators on YouTube. You can write copies of social media posts for creators. Or if not, you can start working for yourself by sharing your stories, ideas and perspective on Medium and get into the Medium Partner Program, which is sadly not available in India right now. But what's available right now is the revenue sharing model by Twitter. So if you get around 15 million views on your post during the last three months, if you have 500 followers and if you have the Twitter Blue subscription, you can start earning money through Twitter right now. But that's not the point at all. The point of this section of this video is to tell you that if you improve your writing skills, you can do much more than just writing blogs. You can easily get internships like Nitin and earn 20,000 rupees a month. Or you can just be like Ashrath and be a freelance scriptwriter for people like me. And this is the exact step by step roadmap on how you can improve your writing skills even if you're a complete beginner. Take a screenshot of this right now and let's move to the next best way of making money online. So again, before we talk about the most easiest method, the fifth method, just after 52 seconds, here's the fourth one, which is very easy to get started with and can actually be a side gig for most of the students right now. And that is by becoming a designer. See, learning the basics of design doesn't take you a lot of time. All you need to have is a bit of creativity and you need to know some or the other design tool to get your first paid gig or your first paid internship. Even then tools like Canva, Adobe XD can get the basic job done and you can start earning something around 15,000 to 20,000 every single month from the next week. Mastering design will take you a lot of time but getting started with it doesn't. You can design thumbnails for creators, you can design posters, or you can just do a design internship in a startup. And the best way to get an internship would be to contact startups which recently got funding. You can get the list of these startups by searching for seed round funding on LinkedIn search, or just sign up for the free trial of Crunchbase and download the list of all the startups which recently got funding. And then search for people who are working in that startup on LinkedIn. Contact them, send your portfolio, and get your first internship. Or the other way is to mail creators by sending them some demo thumbnails. But if you really want to take it to the next level, you can just get started with UI UX design, you can learn Figma, Photoshop and become a full-time designer later and earn something around 4 to 5 lakhs every single month. And here's the exact guide on how to do it. Take a screenshot right now. And now, finally, the last way, the craziest way which I was talking about. This is how 6 million views on TikTok got me this private jet. The first thing you're going to want to do is download CapCut. Once you've done this, you want to pick your favorite podcast, streamer or YouTuber and put their content at the top and the GTA gameplay at the bottom. Once you've done that with TikTok's new creativity program, I got 6 million views that was paid $12,000. And I used that money to chart this jet. Now this thing is trending right now, but the problem is this thing doesn't work in India because TikTok is banned in India. And when you use a VPN, it detects your SIM card and you'll still not be able to get into the TikTok creativity program. But I was trying to find some Jugaad and I actually found a way. Basically, you can remove the SIM card on your phone, buy an eSIM of US, buy a good VPN and then make an account by using your location settings as US. This should work but I'm not actually sure and that is the reason why I'm gonna try it out this week and I'll let you know if it works out for me. Let me see if I can get on a jet too. Well. But anyways, this TikTok creativity program or anything similar to this is a smaller part of a bigger picture. Content repurposing. Things like dubbing the videos into other languages for creators and running their other language channels. Things like making short form viral content from the long form videos of the creators and managing those shorts ka channels. All these things are the new things which you can try out which are not so orthodox and which are not really for everyone. But there are some people who are making big big agencies with the same thing. See, what I actually want to tell you is not every single thing present in this video will be for you. Not everyone would be able to succeed with every single thing that I mentioned in this video. But what I actually want you to do is to pick one or the other things from the things which I mentioned in this video and try them out in the free time that you have. You might fail at the first thing, you might fail at the second, third or maybe all the five things. But in the journey of you trying multiple things, you'll learn a lot. And that learning is much more important than success. Because at this point of time, you're very young. So just try out different things. That should be the major learning of this video. And if you might have missed any of the roadmap present in this video, just go back to the time frame and take a screenshot of this and just get started with it. And if you're someone who's still watching this video, you, just go to the comments below and let me know which one of these five things will you be starting first. Pause. Go down. Let me know what you'll actually start. Go.
So now coming back, in this video we discussed about 5 of the 10 best things that you can do to earn money online if you are a student. And in the next video, I will be talking about the other 5 things which are actually better but will take you a bit more time to just get started with them. Yes. <sighs> so with that being said, the next cohort of my not just a video editing course is coming soon in like 10 to 14 days. And I will keep you updated. Yo, bye bye. Yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check. Give it a microphone, I make the make it a microphone dead. Don't step to me, newbie. I could truly be moody. I could have played the fucking Grinch in the movies. I've been 